All right, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Fanon. In this video, we're gonna talk about Errol Spence Jr. responding to Terrence Crawford over some things Terrence Crawford had to say and undoubtedly telling that man, I'm waiting on you to sign this contract. Is Terrence Crawford dragging his feet on this and why? Let's talk about, let's talk about that in this video. Right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we are going to be in the welterweight division uh, talking about Terrence and Errol. Once again, Errol takes to Instagram and responds to Terrence Crawford, pretty much saying, man, look, dude, you're taking all day. What you going to do, you know, ish or get off the pot. Now, before I get into that, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are a longtime subscriber or, or a recent subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you very, very much. People like you are the reason why we continue to do this channel. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching the videos, sharing the videos, hitting the like button. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hey, accept my invitation. If you like the video to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more video. We typically have very intelligent boxing conversations that go on here. Really good people in the comment section and in the boxing community. So make sure that you uh, that you join by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell icon uh, and support the channel. So let's get into this. Uh, Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, biggest fight, the most anticipated fight in boxing right now. Uh, with, all, with all of the smoke and mirror out of the way, uh, this is the fight that most people, that the largest number of people in boxing, specifically American boxing, but I also think boxing worldwide, want to see welterweight division, a premier division in boxing, second only historically to the heavyweight division. The fight was between the clearly the two best uh, guys in that weight division in the world. And we know it's clearly the case because everybody else that's not a prospect has been beaten by one or the two of those guys. At this point in time, when Errol fights Terrence Crawford, if they go to if they, when they fight each other, whoever the winner is would have. It for as far as they when they started their journey, cleared out everybody who was a contender at the time that they started that. So it is just it's different than pretty much any other weight class uh, right now. Uh, and the only exception being there's some young guys like Jerron Ennis who are out there. Now, they've been in contract. Uh, Errol Smith Jr. had confirmed that they had begun contract negotiations. He also nego he also confirmed that those negotiations are ongoing, that a deal has not been reached. There has had been conversation out there from several people uh, from several sources that the deal was done Um According to Errol Smith Jr., that deal has not done. And in fact, he was on his Instagram responding to something Terrence Crawford said. And at the end of it, put a little clip with Mike Tyson yelling, hey, man, sign the contract, sign the contract, sign the contract. Right. Also, there are sources that if you know, if you know who you're looking at and you know who they what names they go by on their social media handles, uh, people who are in the camp of Errol Spence Jr. that you see with them all the time also confirmed that that fight, that that fight is not done. You know, Errol Spence had been running in New York after the Gervonta Tank Davis fight. So people had made an assumption that they, since he was running, that he was already in camp, but the, his guys said, no, it's not the case. Just staying ready. So he doesn't have to get ready. One of the things that he had been doing he hadn't been doing earlier in his career when he was kind of fluctuating a little bit, trying to get used to the fact that he was only fighting once, twice a year versus earlier in his career when everyone he was fighting consistently. So the fight is still not on. But Errol is saying very clearly to Terrence Crawford that you're the guy we're waiting for. Sign the contract, man. Stop dragging your stop dragging your feet. Uh, also, very strangely, out of Terrence Crawford's camp, there's been a lot. There's been almost zero talk about that 
that fight. Now, I hope that I, I hope that the proper interpretation of that is that means because they are so serious about the fight and the negotiations that they don't want to mess anything up that, you know, they've just gone. Um, they've just gone into incognito mode on that. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, people, you know, hearing what's going on or making an assumptions and messing up the messing up the negotiations. Now, what what the words that had been coming out about the negotiations is that that it is a financial issue that is holding. That was that is the, that is what they're trying to get past. Now, who did that come from? That came from Stephen Espinoza of Showtime. Stephen Espinoza of Showtime said that. Now, why is it important that Stephen Espinoza of Showtime is the one that said that the thing that the fight is likely more likely than it was? However, uh, is this fight as big as Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao? No, it is not as big as Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao. So people want to get paid Floyd Mayweather Jr. money for the fight. That is not going to happen. And that is where we are. Now, there was other rumblings coming out from people that were close, that have clear access to people close to the camp. OK, said that that Bud was looking for a very large guarantee. The number that was given was a 20 million dollar guarantee and was looking at getting a 50 50 split of the pay-per-view of whatever else it is. Now, does that make sense? Yes, that does. Because $20 million guarantee is Floyd is something like Floyd Mayweather money. And actually, it is exactly the guarantees that Floyd Mayweather Jr. got when Floyd Mayweather originally signed that six. I think it was an eight fight deal with Showtime or 10 fight deal with Showtime that was valued at like two hundred and twenty million dollars and was the biggest guaranteed per the biggest guaranteed contract that uh, uh, in the history of boxing at the time, which has since been eclipsed by. Uh, DeZone's silly attempt to get to ruin Canelo Alvarez's career. However, it was $20 million a pop, $20 million a pop, $20 million a pop. And then he got pay-per-view on top of it. So when, when somebody says that they were looking for Mayweather money, that is exactly the money that Steven Espinosa paid Floyd Mayweather Jr. Early when Floyd Mayweather Jr. went from HBO to Showtime, right? So the $20 million is pretty much makes perfect sense as far as the 50 asking for 50 percent of the of the pay-per-view and all of that um that also makes sense because that's what that's what terrence crawford has said the entire time that he wants now seeing is that and we've you know beaten this and this this topic up at nausea whatever we'll keep beating things up in nausea until the fight happens uh that is um not necessarily going to be seen as reasonable by people who are truly representing Errol Spence Jr. And also know that the camps of when Errol Spence Jr., when you say Errol's going to get 60-40 or 50-50, that, all, that, that, that dictates how much money Al Heyman's going to make. Right? Because Al Heyman is getting a percentage of the purse that 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 Terrence, that um that Errol Spence Jr. brings in. That's his manager. That's his advisor. I do believe he's going to get at least 10 percent, 10, at least 10 percent of that uh, as an as a managerial fee. So why would Al Heyman, knowing that the money doesn't the money is not justified on the behalf of Terrence Crawford, go out of his way to try to shrink his own paycheck just to make that happen and to tap into very, very heavily Showtime's um, Showtime's budget for the year, which would affect the other fights that other uh, that his other fighters would be able to get right so we'll see what happens but terrence crop but errol again is the one that said look if this fight doesn't happen it's not on me it's telling terrence crawford to sign the, t- telling terrence crawford to sign a contract and terrence crawford is going into silent mode you put two and two together but let's hope the fight happens i certainly do you let me know what you think in the comment section and with that i'm out peace